Hi Scorpios, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading for the month of May. I hope you guys are sane and safe and being doing well, okay? Um, we're going to hop right into your love reading for the month of May. I also pulled an oracle card for you, so once I'm done shuffling, I will we'll get into this. It's quick, but um yeah, so keep in mind, I could be doing this reading for your cross watcher. So don't force it, okay? Don't force the reading to fit your circumstance, okay? Just take it how it resonates. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for Scorpio? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, for clarity, for freedom, and peace of mind. What messages do you have? Ooh, come on, cards. Scorpio. In love. What messages do you have, Scorpio? In love. Your opposite sign, Taurus. <laughs> it's Taurus season. Your opposite sign. I don't even know what that means, but for those of you who knows what that means, there you go. I feel like I felt like I should say it. All right, last shuffle for Scorpios in love. Yeah, your last reading was. I'm hoping it's better this time. So, I have the card that fell out for you is complacency. I'm gonna read it. It's short. Don't fast forward. It's it's a good one. Okay. It says, life force energy must be taken seriously. Are you standing tall in your own dreams or trying to build on someone else's sadness and an inability to dis disassociate from a lost dream can show up here. It is time to walk away from anything that does not deeply resonate with you. Release and be free. There's a little passage I, I want to read here as well. It says, this is a warning. So this card is a warning not to give up. Beware, however, of coasting along in a situation that is not what you really want. You will never be fulfilled by the unmet dreams of others. Mm. Deep complacency. Okay. That was your oracle. All right, let's get into your reading. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Swords. Are you stressed? You're worried? Can't sleep at night? Having anxiety? What's up, Scorpio? Uh, I'm a little traumatized a little, I have to say. By last week's reading, um, it was a very strong, crazy energy. And I think even um, I st still continued, continued to feel it. And I really just did a, a release of energy. Um, which now I feel back to my normal self. It was very strong. So again, I'm hoping you guys are really taking care of yourselves. And um, yes, yeah, take care of yourselves, releasing negativity. Um, yeah, like your oracle said, okay? Um, yeah, it's time to be free. So you're stressing, you're worried. Uh, what's up, Scorps? Nine of Swords. What's going on, loves? All right, let's see what's going on. All right, what is the current love energy for my Scorpios in love for the month of May? Whoa, okay. That's too many. What is the current energy for Scorpios for the month of May in love? There we go. We have the temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is about having patience, doing things in moderation even. Um... Yeah, being like this is a balanced card. This is also a very healing card. Being balanced. Or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Let's see. So why does Scorpio have the Temperance card here? Okay. Ace of Swords. So there's been some mental clarity. Maybe something is balancing out for you. You you have some mental clarity. Why the Ace of Swords? 
Okay. Whoa. All right. So that. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Nine of Swords Reverse. This is um the Nine of Swords in Reverse. Like if you are stressed or whatever, like this is healing, right? Which I feel with the Temperance card, but the Moon is here. There could be some deception, something, something you don't see. Even though you, there's mental clarity here, or you could be decisive about something. That's it's what it feels more like. Like maybe you, you're. Because you're balancing out with this temperance card. If I'm reading for the same Scorpios, it is great. I mean, this is really great. Um, you're decisive about something. Like, you're cutting out any type of confusion. And I think it's helping you to heal. But there's a moon here. There's something here. Let's see. Why is a moon card here? Something you don't see, something being hidden, something that's not clear. The sun, you could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> I, I, I feel like you, maybe you don't see the positive in your current situation. You don't see the success in it. Um, why the sun card? Okay. We could, these are reverse. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse that talks about setting a new goal for yourself, like some t new ambition. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's not very stable, not very secure. Um, there's no like a lack of security, a lack of freedom. Um, I, I think you're not there yet because you are healing. You're going through the healing process. I don't think you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever you're going through, you don't see it. But it's there. The sun is here. I don't think you see it. Um, but you, I think you're setting new goals for yourself. Like you're, you're, you're starting to set up a new life, a new beginning here because where you're where you are now I, I feel like that's not working for you because there is a lack of stability here and you know I don't know what's the, what's the energy behind the temperance card case of pentacles come on new beginning you're setting this up for yourself which is awesome If your heart is broken, if you are stressed out over your situation, if you are unstable, you're not going to see it. Because you're looking through the eyes that are tainted by a negative experience or a traumatic experience, something hurtful. But there's healing here and I'm that makes me feel really good. And I'm hopefully reading for some of the same Scorpios. Because <laughs> healing was very much so needed. Okay. Why did the Ace of Pentacles come out? Why did the Ace of Pentacles come out? Okay. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy. Um, this new beginning. Uh, take it slow. I feel like you could be taking it slow taking your time, not rushing through it, not pushing yourself. This is good. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, I feel there's a there's an energy of being fragile to me. The, like your your heart is fragile. And so don't rush any new beginnings. It's okay if you don't see the sun, the light at the end of the tunnel. I would work on the process of getting there and it's cool that the knight of pentacles came through because he's slow as heck but he eventually gets there so he will eventually make it to this sun card okay um so just sit back and enjoy or embrace not in, it's not going to be a moment that you always enjoy embrace the process of 
healing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Um, let's see. What is, what does Scorpio want? What are your wishes? What? Because I didn't see anyone. No one popped up in your reading. Like, this, this is about you, okay? Um, what is Scorpio? What are your wishes in love? What are Scorpio's wishes in love? Oh, oh, really? Scorpio, the higher font. Do you want commitment or marriage? Um, something traditional. Very nice. Okay. That's good. Aim high. I mean, this is good. I just like when people, you know, to me, it's just such a solid foundational. It could be very beautiful, like relationship, uh, commitments, like marriage. Traditional can be so beautiful. Okay. Why did the Hierophant come out for Scorpio's wishes? Why is the Hierophant here? Ooh, oh, really? Okay, so you have the Judgment card with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, a Capricorn, sorry, Virgus, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Um, again, this is also Sagittarius energy. You have the Temperance come out. But are you, you're wanting to, with the Judgment card, you could be wanting to renew uh, connection you have with uh, this queen of pentacles you know to get it up and running again could even want something very traditional you could even want to commit to this person this is what you want why why the queen of pentacles oh no shoot okay so the knight of okay so the knight of pentacles in the reverse um yeah, you, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse talks about you guys could be in some sort of, you guys aren't connected right now. Ace of Swords in the reverse. What is this? With the moon. Like you guys aren't, there's no. Because the Knight of Pentacles reverse is a card, like there's a lack of commitment. There's a lack of effort. Um, like something is just at a standstill it's not there's no movement here um which is probably why you have the judgment card like you want to start this back up again you have the ace of swords reverse um uh, but maybe is there's some sort of an obstacle here with the moon um why what's the energy behind the moon the nine of cups wish fulfillment why did the moon come out let's see the king of wands so this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius um if you're i mean are you dealing with another person and i asked i asked that because we have the three of cups here at the bottom and we have this king of wands person that came out of nowhere with the moon which means this person could be a secret you could be hiding this person um and like that's what you want you want to i don't know do you want to hide this person what the heck <coughs> what happened to my water oh hold on guys let me get my water okay um this could be third party energy but why do you want to hide this person or keep this person a secret? Why the King of Wands? Okay, there's too many. Not taking those. Why is the King of Wands here? Okay, oh, wait a minute. Are you married? Are you married, um, Scorpio? We have the Hierophant here. chariot um perhaps you want to move on 
Why is a chariot here? You're married to someone, but maybe you want to move on? Okay. Uh, maybe? I think you do. Hold on. Hold up. Three of Wands with the High Priestess? I think you do. But you don't want to reveal... Like, you want to... Like, you're hoping this can remain a secret. Like, you don't want to disclose any information about this person that you're in a marriage with or a commitment you're waiting for something like maybe you feel like you deserve something better the high priestess that music might be kind of loud dang sorry i just walked over there let me close the window <laughs> Um, yeah, the High Priestess is here. Why the High Priestess? Okay, the Magician. Oh, Scorpio, please tell me. Why is the Magician here? Magician is going to make things happen. So to me, it feels like I feel like your heart is over here, but you're, you'll do whatever you can to keep this a secret with the magician there and the high priestess. Why is the magician here? Why, uh, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Energy... I mean, you, you could just, you could just, you could be doing this out of love, honestly. Like, I think you have emotion for someone else. And it's like, I, I don't, like, you're doing this, like, I want to keep this a secret. But why keep it a secret? Just put it on the table. Like, let this person love you for all of you and everything you've done. Even if it's been some deception here third party energy I mean they're gonna forgive you let them forgive you and that way you're not carrying a burden or you're not carrying a um like a lie you know what's the energy behind this hierophant what's the energy behind this hierophant okay um okay Eight of Cups with the Four of Cups. So if you, you, it's like if you feel like you've missed an opportunity with this person, you're like, it's like you want to abandon that feeling, you know? Like there's a, you want a renewal here with this individual. And I don't think you want this marriage that you're in. So this is your wish. There's an, a person who's on your heart. And the old person, you don't want them anymore. Wow. And you want to keep them a secret. Like, you don't even want to utter anything about them. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So let's see. Well, what's going to happen between you and your love situation? Because um, you want to renew something with uh, an old person. Or somebody you are, I guess, you're on the outs with. Like, there's no, like, something is at a standstill, your connection. All right, what's the potential outcome here for Scorpio and their love interest? What's the out, potential outcome for Scorpio and their love interest? What's the potential outcome here? Thank you. Oh, snap. Ace of Wands. What the? Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. More earth. You have a lot of earth energy in this reading. Oh, but the Ace of Wands is fiery. A new beginning. Are you going to have a new beginning in love? Fiery? Passionate? Why is the Ace of Wands here? 
Okay, thank you. The Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> this Knight of Pentacles in the Earth sign. Um, something, okay, there's an, a, a, a passionate new beginning here, okay? It's, it's not going to happen that quickly. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. But it's going to happen, and it's going to be prosperous. Oh, wow. With the Justice card, Libra energy. Wow, Justice. So, something is going to be balanced here. There's um, equality. There's going to be harmony here. And you, I saw that, I'll say in the first part of your spread, you had the temperance. So there was already this balancing, are they partying outside? Balancing happening in your life. So this is good. Why is it justice here? The three of pentacles. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, the three of pentacles is about teamwork and dedicating yourself and putting in the work putting in the effort why the three of pentacles okay with your love interest but does not come without worry or stress why because this is very beautiful um why the nine of swords why is scorpio oh scorpio okay so we have the ten of wands in reverse and we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. Your word, I think is you, you're, you are burdened and you're wanting to release this burden. Um, you could be having a hard time letting this go, needing strength to endure this. You're trying to release these burdens. I feel like that's what you're trying to do with the five of pentacles in the reverse is, um, talks about ending your difficult moments, your difficult times, okay, coming out of it, but it's stressful to get there. Why the Five of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Five of Pentacles in the reverse? And then we'll get your advice. Ooh, three of pen three of wands wanted to pop out. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? Thank you. Oh yeah. Three of Swords reversed. Oh my God, you guys. I think somebody's having a quarantine party. <laughs> so what's going to happen is you're going to have a new beginning in love. It's going to be slow, but it's going to be balanced, okay? And it's going to be something you can profit from. It's going to be prosperous. It's going to be right and balanced, okay? I feel like you're going to put in this effort, but there's there's some there's some stress here because I I think even in the midst of this, you're still trying to release burdens and getting rid of all of getting out of this difficult situation. Um, but you will like I I get healing so strongly from you. Three of Swords. In the reverse is like overcoming grief and pain so that's good why the three of swords reverse the king of swords making a decision being decisive um, that's air energy why is the king of swords here okay six of swords I, you could be walking away from someone or something taking how it resonates but you'll be leaving something behind. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why are the Six of Swords? Oh my God, they are really... Oh my God. So the lovers. So if you are in a love relationship, um, some sort of a connection, commitment, soulmate thing, like you are going to choose to leave that behind. And again, if you, you had like, look like you were in a commitment or a marriage and you were trying to, you wanted to keep that hidden. Like you don't want nobody to know about that. And I feel like you will completely leave that behind. 
What's the energy behind the Ace of Wands? What's the energy behind the Ace of Wands? What's the energy behind the Ace of Wands? What is this? Oh, okay. Five of Wands. So this new beginning may, it may be a struggle to get there. Because I think you have to walk away from someone else. That may be where the burden lies. Maybe your heart was even broken. You're going to be coming out of that. Like you're going to have to be the king of swords and be decisive and make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Like, and with the lovers here, this, this is like life changing decisions. This could be like, you know, something that really changes your life and the life of the person you're with. And I feel like you're making those types of decisions and it's stressing you. It's going to stress you out. Yeah, that's that's normal, though. Okay, let's get your advice. But that's what's going to happen. You're going to leave this person behind, yo. Um, okay. What advice do you have for Scorpios in love? All right. What advice do you have for Scorpios in love for the month of May? What advice do you have for Scorpios in love for the month of May? Okay, the page of pentacles reverse. The page of pentacles reverse. You know what this is, Scorpio? Oh man. Taking a break. Okay. Take a break. Page of pentacles reverse. You got to you got to finish healing, okay? I mean, I saw you wanted to renew something. You were wishing for some sort of commitment with another person but you have to take a break you have to heal before you bring someone else into your heart because your heart is fragile like you're still going you're still overcoming grief why is the page of pentacles reversed the will take a break things are changing okay and they're they're changing in your favor Ooh, six of cups somebody from the past okay Four of Swords Reverse, again, that new beginning. So I think you need to just take a chill pill, take a break. There's change here, okay? And it could be going in the favor of somebody from your past, like a soulmate, friendship, some type of something. Somebody from the past or soulmate. Someone you've known for a while. It could be somebody you've known since you were a child, but, you know, take it how it resonates. Four of Swords reversed. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is four. I'm reading this as a Four of Cups reverse. This is Four of Swords reverse. It's not about new beginnings. The Four of Swords reverse talks about um, being tired really taking a break uh i think you're tired yo like i I keep i get like this major need to heal the heart okay like like go on strike you know what i'm saying when it comes to matters of the heart until you've healed because I feel like you're tired emotionally, physically, psychologically. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting that strongly. Because there's something here that's changing in your favor with somebody from your past. Okay. What's the energy behind the Page of Pentacles reversed? What's the energy behind the Page of Pentacles reversed? Thank you, thank you. I'll say the world is in the reverse. Um, so you have to take a break because uh, I feel like you've dealt with, maybe, maybe you don't have a plan for yourself. Like there is a lack of vision here. Okay, things are kind of stagnant. Things aren't moving in that direction. I think because you're healing. And with when you're healing, there's not gonna be a lot happening. Why the wheel? Why the world in reverse? 
Okay. Okay. The Hermit, the Chariot, and the Fool. Yes. So, here's Hermit, Virgo, Energy. I, I love that the Hermit is here because this is also a healing card because you're going within to find your peace, to find your inner wisdom, you know, to gather all of your strengths so that you can make sound decisions, decisions that benefit you, you know, conscious decision moving in a positive direction so you can take a leap of faith we have the fool here okay this break is huge so right now things aren't moving okay the cycle there's been completion right but whatever that is like there's nothing happening right now because there's a healing process you need to go through so that you can persevere you can move forward and start a new path because there's a new path here there's a new opportunity here with somebody from the past but you you need to heal why is the four of swords reversed let's just get that before we close ace of wands this is that passionate new beginning i think you have to go through this healing first yeah okay Yes, please do, Scorpio. Please do. You might feel lonely. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. You could feel lonely. You could feel shut out. But use this time to go within hermit mode. Go within and, um, yeah. Heal from all the crap you've been through, okay? All right, guys. That's all I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck with your situation. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling it and not a thumbs down. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.